everyone! So you've made a cute AI-generated image, but something's not quite right? Maybe the colors are off, or there's a weird extra finger? Don't worry, today I'll show you exactly how to fix it using two amazing tool sets, the generation panel for quick AI-powered upgrades, and the edit panel for precise manual tweaks. To make things easier to follow, I've put together a quick reference table of everything we'll cover in this tutorial. Variations for similar but slightly different versions. Enhance for higher quality or fixing blurry images. In paint to edit, remove, or add small details. Out paint to expand your image's canvas. Let's get started. Generation panel. Quick AI powered fixes. Found a generated image you love but want to explore slight changes. Click the Variations button, and you'll get three fresh takes on your original. For blurry or low-quality images, the Enhance tool is your best friend. It includes two options. First, Upscale is like giving your image a pair of glasses. It makes everything sharper and clearer without changing any of the actual details. Perfect for when you've got a great image that's just a bit too pixelated. When upscaling, you've got different AI algorithms to pick from. Each one handles sharpening and upscaling a bit differently. The upscale ratio decides how much your resolution improves. The second option, Image Enhance, goes a step further. It's like having a professional photo editor tweak your image. It smooths out skin textures and improves the lighting to give your image that polished professional look. Let me walk you through the key settings. Denoising Strength This controls how aggressively it cleans up grain and artifacts. For most photos, I recommend starting around 0.4 to 0.6. That gives you natural-looking improvements without going overboard. And Denoising Steps More steps means more refined details. Here's something really handy. You're not limited to just AI-generated images. Got a photo or artwork you want to improve? Just click the Image Upscaler button in the top left corner, upload your file, and let the AI work its magic. It's that simple to turn your blurry images into crisp, clean masterpieces. Want super high-quality results from the start? Enable hires during generation! Important notes! First, hires means no batch generations. It's one masterpiece at a time. Second, if you change your image dimensions later, you'll need to re-enable hires. And third, applying it to existing images will reprocess them, often with noticeable changes. Edit Panel Precision Customization For super precise edits, InPaint lets you modify specific areas. Here's what you can do. Want to change your character's expression? First, select the InPaint brush and paint over the mouth area. Be careful, the eraser will completely remove all your painted areas, which can be frustrating. After that, type parted lips or smiling mouth in the prompt box, and your character will get a whole new expression while keeping everything else exactly the same. Changing eye color works the same way. First, let me show you a helpful trick. You can use the color picker to sample colors from your image. Watch! I'll select this golden yellow from her hair to use as a reference. Now, paint over the entire iris area. Then, in the prompt box, type something like yellow eyes to match our selected color. Oh oh! See what happened here? I didn't cover the entire eye area, so some of the original blue is still showing. That's why precision matters. The key is taking your time to mask the exact area you want to change. AI sometimes adds weird stuff, like watermarks. Here's how to fix it. First, zoom in, carefully mask just the watermark area. Now here's the professional trick. Don't type something like remove watermarks. Instead, describe what should actually be there. For example, in this picture, I'll type white floors to match the surrounding area. Perfect! The watermark disappears seamlessly. Now let's tackle something more challenging. Extra limbs. In this case, since there's a teddy bear nearby, I'll type teddy bear, toy bear. The AI got a bit creative with our request. Mike Sturick gave the bear a fancy red bow instead of just removing the hand. 
While unexpected, this is actually much better than the original glitch. Now let's explore Outpaint, your canvas expansion wizard. Imagine you have a beautiful portrait but wish it showed the full outfit. Here's how to make that happen. First, click the Outpaint tool, grab the bottom handle and drag downward to reveal new blank space. In the prompt box, describe exactly what you want to appear in this new area. For our portrait example, type something like black dress to continue the outfit. The key is being specific about colors, textures, and how it connects to the original image. You can also experiment with dragging different edges. Extend the sides for a wider composition, or the top to reveal more background. Each time the AI will intelligently blend the new content with your original image. The key is to think realistically about what would naturally appear in these extended spaces. Ask yourself, if this character kept going downward, what would logically be there? That mental exercise will help you craft better prompts and create much more cohesive final results. Now you know how to take any AI-generated image and make it perfect. Which tool are you most excited to try? Let me know in the comments! If this helped, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. See you next time!